Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Black Mesa. Let's just squish them apples and see if there's something uh, of utter importance. And there is none. But we can take that elevator to some place. I don't know which it would be, but um, apparently it's a dark place. Well, I'll drink my coke if you don't mind. Mm. So elevators are always loading screens. No, that's a bummer. I never knew. Oh yeah, I have to res I have to reset my timer. Cool music. Yeah, I really like the music. It's um a little up tempo. Gordon Freeman, headbanger. All right, gotta be careful. Uh oh. You know that music is actually keeping you really much on your toes, isn't it? Yeah, one shot of that guy. There's another one right there. Yeah, I'll take the first safe kit, you know. Why not? Thanks. You're still not dead. Now you are. There's my new friend, right around the corner. Are you my friend? I guess not. Gee willikers. What's up here? Ammo? Help? I'd appreciate both, I guess. Um, but there's none. In fact... Nope, there's really none. No, you are going down, mister. Alright. Ow. Wow. That hurts. Particularly much. A lot. Yeah. Something to grab. Nope. Nothing to be had. Hmm. Well, there are three of those guys, so gotta be careful here. Can I actually take that car? I don't believe so. Nope. But it would be cool. Honest to God. Honest to God. Alright. Dodging. I want to get in here. And that was probably the right decision. Phew. Oh yeah. Jesus. Violent, eh? Oh. Great. I just saved, like, when someone was who the frick is shooting at me? I refuse to take that hit, by the way. Wait, I'll load and I'll try to retreat right away. Okay, so either I can go in there, but I'm not really sure if I want to. Like, are those shootable? No, they are not. But apparently I have to get in there. Apparently. Well. Nope. 
Okay. What the hell is shooting at me, by the way? I, I can't really see anything. Oh, someone's down there. That's, that's, that's retarded. Really. He's standing in the fire like nobody's business. Who the frick is like, he's, he's shooting right through the metal, what the hell? You know what, I'm gonna stop screwing around and... I'm gonna give you a present on my own. I hope you like it. No. No, no, no. Uh, I think you were somewhere around there. I'll take another one. Was that everything? I I really can't see who's shooting me. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah, I don't. Well, oh, we made it anyway. See, that is the reason why I actually hate that part because of so many people are trying to shoot you. It's, uh, you know, all the other Half-Life levels are not that much involved when it comes to uh, uh, people trying to shoot you. It's sometimes a bit tidy, uh, tidy, tiresome, tidy. <laughs> Tiresome tidy is not the same thing that I'm talking about, but well, I don't know who taught me English. Apparently the loading screen did, because he's trying to get on my nerves, isn't he? I'm really looking forward to a speedrun of this game. I know that there are a lot, uh, there is like a very fast speedrun by Dave, Dave Marshall Gates, I think. Uh, where the frick? He was really on my head. Um, but of course that was done in Half-Life 1, so um, I believe they can use... Most of the things that use um, glitches from Half-Life from Half -Life 1. Half-Life 2, of course, has other glitches. And um, it's gonna be interesting to look at what people are actually... Are you freaking kidding me? You die. Jeez. See, submachine gun, gun ammo just goes by quickly. Like, really. <laughs> yeah, I never really... Uh, I never really got why they were shooting all the... Um, all the guys. That didn't really make sense. Now, I'm fighting back, eh? Don't I? Don't I? Oh, hi. Well, so much for the government. Their idea of hate is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging by your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look. If anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda Complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever is left of the Lambda team. Yeah, I can do that. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Well, scientists always knew not shooting. Okay, got got that part right. 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Empty. Well, that's a bummer. But, uh, train riding section segment. Hooray. Or not, hooray. Especially loading screen, not hooray. But what can you do about this? Nothing, that's what. In any case, uh, so, Mr. Loading Screen, would you be so kind to go away? Go away. Go away. I told you to go. Thanks. Blast pits. Oh, yeah. It's that segment where I thought, I never want to ride a train again in Half-Life, but they make you. Well, that is mighty fine of you. No, mister. You may not shoot at me with your icky stuff. Hi. Gee, head preps. See, if you never got the, the thing, you could always get it here. Security doors. Unlocked. Or... No. We unlocked them. No worries. Fire water. Hmm. Is that like the schnobs or something? Um, can I just drop down? I guess I can. Mm, also, explosive stuff. Nope. I probably want to get down there. Ouch. Yeah. Let's go down. I mean, we don't have anything to lose. I mean, super, super awesome. Isn't that thing now crashing or something? I can't remember that that thing was particularly unstable. But that might be another elevator that I'm talking about right now. Yeah. Is that another loading elevator? No, it's not. Um, do I want to get in there? Yeah, I uh, most certainly want to. What of this? Is there something to be had? Nope. Alright, so here's the part that I was saying, right? In Half-Life 1, you could actually go through the blast door in, uh, in the beginning of the level, starting from we've got Hostile, and you would actually, um, land somewhere around here if you got through the levels basically skips a lot of stuff all right all right all right you die um i'll have to make sure to dismount the thing before um, we reached the end of the line. <laughs> because that can happen. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we... See, that's the reason why. Oh, it actually stops for you. That's awesome. Alright. Let's go down. Ah, uh, jumpy section. How I love that. The jump and run section segments in Half-Life. Ah, uh, they were never kind of my forte. I think there's like some stuff right here. It's like... A Ow. Well, I shouldn't probably arm myself with something with a bit more of a bang if I go this way. Alright. We could actually use that. 
Oh, by the way, if you didn't see that, we actually got a shotgun. Jesus. That dude really does a lot of damage. More than I actually want him to do. Um, let's see, let's see. Is there something? Yeah, that's actually ammunition for the shotgun, which I am now using. Because I want to. Uh, I probably want to go up there. But how do I get there? Is there like a ladder? Or something? Oh yeah, sure. There is. <laughs> there is actually a ladder. Um, um, I guess right around this corner. Uh, I'll have a grenade for you. Ow! Stupid! See, it really does a lot of damage. It never did so much damage, I think, in Half-Life 1. By the way, but we're playing Half -Life. We are playing Half-Life 1. Did you know that? Egg, stop shooting stuff at me! You have to die. Did you die? Good boy. You died as well. Egg. Do you see that very disturbing effect? Which is actually slowing down my computer for specific reasons. I don't know why. Probably pretty computer intensive. Or calculation intensive. That is radiation. Or... That's supposed to be radiation. The good thing is, we have an HEV suit. And Gordon does not care about radiation that much. But he probably does care if, if you actually um, drop down in that green lava of them. Them apples. Um, not really sure I want it to be down here. That's why I think we should reload. Gee, so much dizziness. Hmm, where do I want to be? Good question, Alex. Good question. I probably want to be... I have no idea. Let me check this stuff out. Alright. There is no ladder. So... Um, hmm. Can't remember... Wait a second. Wasn't there like... No. There was not. Well... They gotta be. Or should we just take the elevator? Duh! <laughs> yeah. That's quite alright. See, I'm, I'm done with that. I only have the shotgun left. And that one. There's only one shot in there. So, the only reliable gun that I actually have now is the shotgun. And that one does only have eight ammunition. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh double dear. Not good at all. But yeah, that's how life goes sometimes, with a lot of loading screens. Oh dear. Come on, loading screen. Be a good boy. Good girl. You can be a good girl or a good boy, I don't really care. As long as you are fat. Ow. That hurt a lot. So thing about those guys is they actually destroy everything in a radius of 15 meters or something and if there's an explosive crate around 
Uh, you don't want to be around there. Well, thanks for loading. Oh my god. Too much loading involved in this section, in this minute of recording. I know, but I can't do anything about it. It's, it's, it's Half-Life 2. Uh, no, it's Half-Life 1 in Half-Life 2. Jesus! What the Waffle House? Were there like eight dudes coming at you last time? I can't remember that. Can't remember that happening. Um, hi. Oh, thanks, ammunition. I do want to be there, but I can't. Oh boy. Now I have to go back to Mr. Crowbar. Which is not always good to have or use. Airlock cycle automatically. Hi, Mr. I am sure you like what you'd get. Must fire the rocket engine. Destroy the damn thing before it gets any larger. <laughs> oh, we will, mister. But I'm giving your face. Stop dancing. More dancing. Can you dance? <laughs> yeah, I'm a terrible person. Oh, yeah. Prop lab. Control number one. Yuck. Oh dear. Yeah. We have to destroy that thing. And I'm not gonna tell you how it works, but you probably know anyway. It involves a mixture of fuel and oxygen and some... I don't know, cigarette butt or whatever. Something that to ignite that stuff. So uh, we'll do that next episode on Black Mesa. Thanks for watching and I'll see you. Goodbye.